Hi guys, I'm Upsal and these are five tracks that inspired me. First one is High and Dry by Radiohead. This has always been and always will be literally my favorite song of all time. I think no matter if I'm in a really fucking sad place, a really good place, on an airplane, wherever I am, I always cry within like five seconds of listening to this song. I don't know what it is for me, but it's just like such an emotional song. I can only really listen to it like a couple times a year because like once I hear that acoustic guitar at the beginning, I'm like, immediately crying within seconds. Um, there's no other song that makes me feel like that, so that will always be at the very top of my list. Second one is a song called Girls by The Dare. Somebody showed this to me in a session last week. I'm pretty sure it's new. I don't really know when it came out, but the, on first listen, I was like mind blown because the song feels so big and so energetic, but when you actually listen to the production, it's literally just like a drum loop this little synth pattern and then they add in like a few more sounds like bassy sounds on the chorus and then he's saying the craziest shit in the vocal and it's just the most exciting song to listen to the first day i heard it i like left the session and listened to it like 10 times on repeat on the way home it's so good so the dare if you're watching i'm a really fucking big fan third one is a song called anything you want by spoon I grew up listening to Spoon like since as long as I can remember. My parents were fans of the band, so I grew up going to Spoon shows, listening to them all the time. The specific song, Anything You Want, is off of one of their like first albums. And I used to like cover it at shows when I was like playing gigs around Phoenix in high school, just because it had this really cool, really like hard to play and sing at the same time piano riff thing that was happening. And it's just always been one of my favorite songs. Spoon has always been one of my favorite bands. But it's funny because literally like a couple weeks ago, I was kind of like rediscovered the song, you know, when like you had a song that was such a big part of your life and then you like forget about it and then you listen to it and it feels like you're listening to it for the first time again. That was me like a couple weeks ago and I realized like it's the cutest little love song ever and now I'm even more obsessed with it. So shout out to Spoon. Go to Town by Doja Cat. I'm Doja Cat's biggest fan, always will be. Um, but this song specifically, I think it was either like 2018 or 2019, I was driving back to LA from Phoenix, like visiting my family. And I was just like listening to music. I was getting really close to LA. And all of a sudden this song came on like as a suggested thing on Spotify. Like it wasn't on my playlist, but it like, you know, started suggesting similar music. And I had no idea who Doja Cat was at the time. And the song starts playing and I'm like, what is happening? Like these crazy vocals in the beginning. And then as the beat drops, I like turn the corner on the I-5 and like see the skyline of like downtown LA. And it was just this like magical moment. And I think that's why I'm such a big fan of Doja. Cause like, that was sick. The beat dropped and I saw LA, it was like chef's kiss of a moment. And then after hearing that, I dove into the rest of that first album, or I think it was her second album. I like dove into all of that. And for the next like, three months every session I went into, I would be like, the Doja Cat, this song called Go To Town, we need to make something that sounds as cool as this. So it inspired a lot of music for me, for sure. Last one is Zaza and Some Runts by Terry Presume. This song is another one that feels so big and energetic, but when you really pay attention, it's just like a few elements, but each element is like really important in the production. It's like this amazing drum groove, this funky ass bass line, and then this little like keyboard riff that like is a little behind the beat to where it like puts you just in this fucking pocket and it feels so good to listen to. Um, and his voice sounds amazing on it. Um, he has this like effect on his vocal that makes it sound like he's like in this like big room, but it's like not necessarily reverb. I don't know production, so I don't really know what it is, but like it just sounds sick and the whole group of it just like makes you feel really, really cool. So yeah, those are my favorite tracks. Mm -hmm.